petrified. I'm petrified of this knife. It's petrified fish time. It's delicious. I love it with vegetables and... No, okay, hold on. This is a knife, by the way. It is a petrified fish knife. What's it called? What is it called? Come on. I challenge you to tell me. Oh, oh it's a Viking. It's a Nashorn design. Okay. PFP07. I do believe, I do believe if I can read. I'm so old, I can't see it. Okay, PFP07. K110 blade steel. And you can still finger flick it. I was, you know this fuller that comes out here? Yeah, that's, you know, it's not making it real, real easy, is it? Um, But if you dig, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, now, hold on, hold on. Give me something here. Uh, crappy, scrappy piece. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Well, they sharp somebody in the in the in the production area knows how to sharpen a knife. Yikes. Okay, that is on the plus side of factory sharp. That's that's definitely good and it's centered. Uh the Viking Nash Horn. Um that's a nice design. He did a good job. Comes in a lovely box, a lovely box. Oh, well, let's see what's in the box. Sometimes it's different, you know? Different stuff. Okay. Oh, crap. What the heck? Okay, so we got a microfiber cloth. Hold on. Ah, uh, petrified fish. I didn't know it was a fish like that. I thought it was uh, just more of a plated type fish. But no, this one is... Uh, he's a vicious looking fish. And what else have we got in here? No, never mind. Okay, come here. But we got extra hardware. Okay, so we got for for a <laughs> a budget shooter. Okay, a budget shooter. We got extra hardware. We got this. I forgot what this thing costs, but it's probably in the forty something dollar range. Oh, by the way, I'll give you the link to. Come here. I'll give you the link to Petrified Fish site and also um, to White Mountain Knives because White Mountain Knives carries them. So, I mean, not to diss the Petrified Fish website, that's fine, okay? But White Mountain Knives, I know I'll get it within about three days and I know I'm not going to pay shipping, because they don't charge shipping. And I know I'm not going to pay tax. Because they don't charge tax. And I know I'm going to get 10% off. Because LTK is the discount code for 10% off. Is it any better than that? 10% off. No shipping. No tax. Okay. If it's on there. Now. They carry them. They just don't carry 800,000 of them. So they do run out of stock here and there. Deep carry. And you got tapered screws, and it's good, and the pocket clip work look it works good. It looks okay, but it works good. Um, and then you got a little lanyard pin area there, and then you've got micarta backspacer, of course, green micarta scales. As far as I'm concerned, they could go to G10. I'm kind of are you micarta out a bit? Um, and it depends on the quality of the micarta too. So this, I'll probably just take some, take some, uh, greasy grease, you know, some of that, uh, food grade mineral oil, and it'll all look like this, a real consistent green. Okay. Um, but here it is unfettered from my adulterations. Wow. I paid for that word. So, oh, by the way, what does it weigh? And how big is it? And let's get into that. Uh, grams. Eh, 111. That's not a lot of weight, is it? And it's jumping around. Let me see. Will you... Okay. three. It's under 4 ounces, so 3.9. Okay. 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 Now, kick it open. Whew. That's... It's a decent-sized blade, isn't it? You know how to get some work done for you. 
ooh, three and three quarter. They'll probably call it 3.65 because that's where it is there. Down here, four inches to the bolster. Oh, shit, it's more than, it's pretty much 3.75 inch cutting length. Eight and a quarter overall. Okay. I mean, that's, that's not too shabby. Hold on, where's my, where's my calipers buried in here? Okay. Uh, 13.5, 0.53 of an inch. So, okay. I mean, that's fair. And it's enough to make you feel like you got something in your hand. 0.12 at 3 point. Okay. Basically, 3 millimeter blade stock. A little cutaway in here, so sharpening won't be as impeded otherwise, but it's not really a go forward area. But check this out. Okay, so you can see the liner right there. And they got kind of a little catch, right? Hold on. Uh, where is that? Kind of there, isn't it? And so... Um, this is easy to disengage. Bank and is that the sharpened edge? I hope not. Um, but so bank and drop. Okay, we can do that. And it drops too. And it drops and it's centered. Oh, hold on. Let me check this out. Blade play lock rock. No, can't remember the last time I had blade play lock rock on a knife. Maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know. Um, but this took long enough to get here. I can't remember um, how long it took, but it, it took a little while. If they're in stock at a USA, you know, seller, then you'll be more fortunate than I am. Uh, because I didn't know. I got this directly from Petrified Fish. So, oh, hitting the camera stand. Let's do that. But yeah, I mean, the ergos on this, that's easy breezy. I really like this. I think this is, this, this, I think this is going to be really popular. I could, I could do this in blue G10. Uh, I could do this in a G Mascus. Remember some of the G Mascus stuff they've done? That would be way cool, wouldn't it? Like a red or a blue G Mascus. Even green G Mascus would be nice, but wow, this is uh, this is a knife. It's not that heavy. It's it's no bigger lengthwise overall lengthwise than a paramilitary two, which means it's a full size knife. You know, this is not a small knife, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I remember I was talking to a guy from Blade HQ at Shot Show, and he goes. I want to tell you about this new brand I brought to the guys because um, I was out exploring and it's called, and you might want to make note of this, it's called Petrified Fish. <laughs> it's like, I said, no shit? Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. There was a conversation there, but yeah, I was saying I was uh, <clears throat> aware of the brand. Um, and they are. I mean, in the, so here they are. Remember, I started doing these years ago, you know, and they were a, just a little startup, blah, 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 making a few knives here and there. And now they have been noticed by the almighty Blade HQ. So, and of course, White Mountain Knives have been carrying them for a while. Middle finger flick. Come on, man. Of course. Not the easiest thing in the world. You gotta kind of set yourself up so it's not necessarily intuitive. It's not bad though. But man, the action's nice on it. So it's insane. Okay, I get it. Contoured. Contoured. Got this going right there. Do you think they they yeah, I mean this doesn't bother me. Some people are like, oh, there's there's a trademark or something on the blade. Oh, my God. It can't be sterile, dude. I mean, if you, if you, let, ask yourself, if this was my knife out on the marketplace, would I want to put my logo or my anything on it? Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Okay, there, there's an ash horn. So, no, nah, I don't think that's too bad. Petrified fish, you got to do that. You got to do that. 
No, but these are a good user carry knife. And you know what? They're also got some styling, don't they? I mean, really, the beluga was a big deal. And then they made it in Tanto and they made the baby beluga. And the 949 is still a big favorite of mine. And just all kinds. I got a drawer full of them. And you take the whole drawer of them, all a bazillion of them, and they're all worth about 300 bucks, the whole bunch, you know? You got no money in them, basically, but you got a whole bunch of knives, and really, they're good carry users, and they're really interesting designs. So, okay, I'm done, uh, I'm done telling you how I feel about them, because I do. I've got a big bunch of these, okay? And I got a big bunch of Tucson knives, too, because I think they're underpriced even now in the marketplace, and they're a hell of a lot of fun. And you ain't going to cry because if something happens to them, it was like 69 bucks, you know, 89 bucks. It was under $100. And these are under $50 uh, most times. Uh, so, and then put the LTK discount code on top of it. Bingo. Okay, let's tore it apart. Let me see what we got here. Well, I'm going to make a big damn mess out of everything. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. And no, it's, I mean, I i haven't had hardware issues with this, nothing. And you can look there, huh? Captured pivot, bingo. Okay, so that's why that's not moving. And it centers that logo. And do we have, no, hell no. They still won't do this. I'm going to, I'm going to whoop their ass here. They keep doing these number sixes. I got to get back to them on that. I kept thinking I requested that from them saying and of course they must obey me if i request no they don't have to they could say shut the hell up we don't care um so they can do number six body screws especially if they're going to keep it in the 40 to 50 dollar price range i think i can live with that um get yourself some decent tools and then you won't bugger them up anyhow even if they are number sixes so come on we gonna come off of there what did I or did I not do? Oh, well, let's get this out of here. There's one screw. Didn't I not? I, I thought I backed you up, buddy. What's going on? You felt like you were done. What are you not doing? Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, now we're off. Ooh, a longer and a shorter. A longer and a shorter. Ooh, probably going through something in here. Okay, let's leave you alone for the moment. Let's pop this off. So this should come off. Micarta. It's a brand new material. Yes. Earth shattering. And what do we got in here? No internal screws. So uh, let's get you away from here. And what are we looking at? Okay. Well, we got some it's skeletonized a bit and we got a ceramic detent ball and we got goop clear goop not a messy goop oh no wonder it's got a nice little drop to it look at that multi-row ceramic bearings lordy me and what's this and we have a captured pivot multi-row ceramic bearings and they still can't do number six body screws but they'll do this okay you know what i'll make a deal with you you keep doing these and i'll forgive you for the body screws that is way ass cool i knew that thing was dropping trying to chop my thumbnail off so easily for some reason and you know what that is that is rico suave now you're the real stud you are the real stud with the Viking. And uh, just say, move over, buddy. I got multi rows, okay? Uh. And they, I'm sure they will respect you for that. All right, that's what it looks like took apart. How's that? And yes, it's back together. No mishaps with the hardware. And it's centered up, and it's looking good, and it's feeling good, and it's dropping. So, whew, but I like the look of it. This looks like it could be like a steak knife type prep knife as well, right? It's got good contact patch too, because where's the, 
you know, no, no problem here because your flipper's out here. So you got nothing to really interfere with being able to use this as a prepper. It's semi-stainless, so it's K110. Yeah, I mean, this is usable for that purpose. Make a great steak knife, that's for sure. And it's got enough cutting length on it, too. Okay. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, I got a link below to Petrified Fish website. Also to uh, White Mountain Knives. Um, check it out. They've got a lot of different models. There's a lot of interesting knives. If you never bought one of these, and and you, I mean, if you're all into high-end knives, etc., etc., I don't even know why you're watching this then. But these, no, these are budget knives, but you know what? They're as much fun, if not more, than all the high-end, high flute and stuff. Because guess what? You'll actually carry this. Yeah. You'll actually carry it. This is the kind of stuff I use around the house all the time. Okay? And it sharpens up just fine. Take care, my friends. We do. We love them knives, so you stay sharp.